This is Kenneth Gates with FightHubTV.com. I'm here at BJ Pins Training and Fitness Academy with Ross the Boss Ibanez, who's getting ready for his upcoming fight on August 7. So Ross, who are you fighting and do you know anything about him? Um, my opponent is Konoke. Um, I just know he's a boxer, kickboxer. You know, you know, I guess all around freestyle MMA uh, from Honolulu. Supposed to be making some waves in Honolulu, making a name up there, and um, you know, he's, he agreed for the fight, then good to go. How has your training been, and who are you training with? Well, my training has been with the usual, uh, you know, the pens, JD Pen. JD is the uh, mastermind, he, he gives us, you know, the training, watches over us. Uh, my training partners would be uh, Mike Aina, Shane Nelson, you know, we got Chad Hao, you know, this uh, upcoming, you know, tough amateur guys, you know, Toby, uh, Chad Thomas, who else we got in there? We got uh, Kevin Soon, you know, and a bunch of other uh, upcoming amateurs, you know, with some other jujitsu guys, you know, Frank Kohara, and, you know, whatever guys you can pull in. Do you have a plan on how you want this match to go? Um, I have no plans. Um, I just good to go. I'm gonna test, test the waters, test him out at standing up, and uh, you know I'm gonna mix it up. This is MMA. I'm gonna keep it up, stand up. Of course, you know I ain't scared to bang. Um, I'll take it to the ground whenever I want to. I'll keep it up. So basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the pace for this fight, and um, he's just gonna have to adjust to how I fight. You know. Like I said, you know, I have turned. This is going to be my 31st fight, um, and he's going. He's an upcoming guy, so we'll see whatever, whatever happens. Do you have any concerns about your opponent? Uh, you know, I don't have any concerns. I'm not overlooking him. You know, I'm not. I'm just going to. I'm not looking past this guy. You know, opponent is opponent. Anything can happen. But you know, I've been. I've been through a lot of fights. With a lot of tough guys, so it's uh, you know he's gonna have to, to be the one who's, who's worried where I go, where I take the fight. In your most recent fight, you flew to Japan to fight Kawajiri. How has that experience benefited you? My last fight with Kawajiri, um, you know, it's it's they gave me a week's notice uh, to get down to 55. I was like 182. On a week's notice, uh, you know, and I, I'm not gonna turn down any fights. I actually I was getting ready for another fight, which got cancelled, and uh, you know this fight came came along, and you know I, since I felt like I was in condition, I took the fight. The uh, experiences, you know, I just you know I think if I need to get down to 55, it's not gonna make, it's not gonna take a week, you know. It, I'll, I need like at least four to six weeks, even maybe eight weeks, but. Like I said, with a guy with Kawajiri, you just jump on it and you know see where it goes. I'm a natural 170. He was a 55. You know, I felt stronger in there in him, but just that one week of trying to lose a lot of weight after a couple of explosions, you know, I felt kind of winded and you know my body was tired. So, but you know, like I said, you know to get to 55, I'm gonna. I need a couple of weeks, but I ain't gonna turn down anybody for a fight. And there is, um, is there anything you would like to say to the people watching? What I like to say is uh, to all my fans and everyone out there, you know, I haven't retired, I haven't, right, I haven't quit. I just, it's just been, I still been training. There's been four fights that've been canceled since since college years, and. Um, so I haven't been fighting. Plus, with the you know the commission came out in Hawaii, you know it stopped a lot of the pro fights. And looking to fight outside was you know kind of hard. But I was still training. It's um, there should be no ring rust. We're training hard, and I just expect the same same thing. I expect the same explosions, the same strength, speed, and power that I bring to the fights. And um, thanks for everyone for watching. And this will be a good fight for you guys. Well, thank you for your time, and we wish you luck in your fight. Thank you. Okay. Most muscular after.